In this video, we will demonstrate the common adjustments that may be necessary on a systems mechanical dock leveler. The two common adjustments involve setting the correct mainspring tension and lip assist spring tension. It is good practice to regularly perform the weekly and quarterly maintenance on your dock leveler. This will allow operating the leveler through the complete operating cycle to maintain lubrication as well as verify the operation of the leveler. Remember to read and understand the owner's manual and become thoroughly familiar with the equipment and its controls before operating the dock leveler. Raise the platform by pulling and holding the platform release ring. Be sure to hold the ring until the platform is fully raised or damage to the equipment may result. Verify that the leveler has reached full height and that the lip has fully extended. If it has not, an adjustment may be necessary. During the previous operating cycle, we saw the leveler reach full height, but the lip section did not fully extend. This indicates that there's an adjustment that may be necessary to either the main spring tension or the lip assist spring tension. To increase lift spring tension, turn the lift spring bolt in the clockwise direction. Note that we should use half turn increments when adjusting the main springs. Check platform operation after each adjustment and repeat the process until proper operation is obtained. Now that we've increased our main spring tension, we want to run the leveler through the complete operating cycle to verify correct operation. After running the leveler through the complete operating cycle, we saw that the platform was easy enough to walk down and that the platform rose to full height and the lip fully extended. This means that our mainspring adjustment is in an acceptable range. We will now move on to check the lip assist spring tension. To do that, you want to walk the leveler down so that the lip is resting just above the keepers. You'll then raise the lip by hand and let the lip fold. This should take approximately 18 to 20 seconds. And if the time is outside this range, we may need to adjust the lip assist spring tension. With the platform lowered so that the lip is just outside the keepers, we can grab the lip by hand and raise it to full height. We want to let the lip fold and record the amount of time it takes for the lip to reach the fully folded position. This time should be 18 to 20 seconds. The time it took for this lip section to fold was about 16 seconds. That means we want to add a little bit of spring tension to the lip assist spring. To increase the lip assist spring tension, we need to loosen the jam nut that is holding the adjusting nut in place. With the jam nut loose, we can move it out of the way and use our adjusting nut to make the adjustment. To increase the spring tension, we want to move in the clockwise direction. Again, only move a half turn at a time and then verify leveler operation. We might not need more than a half turn since we were already close to the 18 second range. After you've made the lip assist spring adjustment and tightened down the jam nut, run the leveler through the complete operating cycle to verify operation. When walking the leveler down, be sure to stop just short of the keepers so we can test the lip descent time again.
The lip section folded in just over 18 seconds, so we know that we have our lip assist tension just right. After completing the mainspring adjustment and the lip assist spring adjustment, be sure to run the leveler through the complete operating cycle one last time to verify correct operation. If you have any further questions, be sure to reference the owner's manual or call the number below to speak with a technical service representative. This completes our adjustment video. We hope you found it helpful and thanks for watching.